Alright, folks, Pi Guy here. I'm going to show you how to uh, use the RC switch in an ESP8266 using the uh, little receivers here, as you can see, the receive and the transmit. I'm not worrying about the transmit. That might be another video. We're focused on the receive here on this guy. Uh, and I have the 315 megahertz version. Now, this will pick up, well, at least the one I have will pick up 300, I mean, 433 megahertz. I tried it here with one of my little key fob type things I have. So, and I have this wired up to an ESP8266. And I modified this uh, sketch a little bit. So, as you can see here, we're going to connect the receiver to the 3.3 volt on the ESP, and obviously the ground to the ground. And since this receiver has four pins, we're only going to use three. Uh, now, I did see online that you can take the two data pins on the receiver and just tie them together, which I tried that, and it work this it worked fine either way we're just using one of the two pins so we're going to take the data pin from the receiver and and hook it up to d3 on the uh esp8266 now let me increase this font size a little bit do it again here so that might help you a little bit better so anyway that's how this thing will be wired up pretty straightforward and you're going to need the RC switch library so you could just search that by going to sketch include library manage library search it and install it so we have our board selected and whatnot on here which I think you guys would know all about that, so we don't really need to get into all that. So it's pretty straightforward. So we'll just hit the verify. <clears throat> and I have this already plugged in, hooked up, wired up to my uh, ESP. Now, like right here, for example, these are the two uh, data pins I was talking about. So I had I tried it either way. I tried it with just the pin plugged in here, the jumper, or here, or tie both of them together, go into the ESP. So all right, so now we can just hit the upload button and upload this sketch. And if everything goes right, we will uh, be done here in a second. And what we are going to do is, once this is uploaded, we're going to go to Tools. Then we're going to click on Serial Monitor. So, it's uploading. It's right now. I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this sketch. So, you, obviously, you don't have to sit here and worry about typing all this. All right, so now that it's done, we're going to go to Tools, Serial Monitor, and as you can see right here, it's 9600. So you'll want this to be on 9600. And we don't need to worry about putting anything in there, so we're just going to hit the Send button. And I have a little uh, remote here. Now this is 433 megahertz, even though I'm using a 315 megahertz receiver. And I hit it once, and voila. There's my code, and that's for the off button, basically. And if I hit it again here, <clears throat> there's my code for the on. There it is for the off. So, pretty straightforward, simple, and uh, that's about it. So you can put this code then into the transmit uh, sketch. 
and go from there. But like I said, I'm not focused on that. I just wanted to show the uh, ESP receive only. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for another one.